not too distant future Next Sunday AD There was a guy named Joel Not too different from you or me He worked at Gizmonic Institute Just another face in a red jumpsuit He did a good job cleaning up the place But his bosses didn't like him So they shot him in the space I like the way you melted the bumpers for effect. Oh, yeah. what's that there then? Well, uh, that's a 440 with twin four barrels and cherry bombs, popped up with hooker headers, thrush pipes, glass packs, delivering 600 horsepower with 1,300 foot pounds of torque at the axles. <laughs> Plays rubber in every gear. I include it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great, Chipsy. It's really commercial sign in 15 seconds, and I need it this time. Jeez. Oh, well, don't say hi, Jeepers. Jeez. Well, it's great that you guys have a hobby. Yeah, we were sort of tracing the development of the American muscle car and its symbiotic relationship to the feelings of isolation and disillusionment of post-war adolescence. You know, the almost mythic leather-clad loner and the hot rod with the secret and the soul and torment. You know, his spirit lives on, Joel, finding its deepest meaning in the songs of Morrissey and Bruce Springsteen, the Turtles. Yeah, I mean, if not for the limitations of space, we ourselves might be riding through the mansions of glory and our suicide machines are jammed together on the highway with broken heroes on a last chance power drive. Mm. Well, I guess we would then. Wrap yeah. your hands across my velvet ribs uh -oh. and strap your That's hands across my ankles. All right, who taught her that? Which one of you? Uh, uh, commercial sign now. Oh, 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 Now look, Gypsy, you don't have velvet rims, all right? And I don't want anybody strapping anyone's hands across anyone's engines, okay, capiche? Okay. Uh, evil hell spawn are calling, so behave. Come in, Joel, my little space guy, my little uh, man who's trapped up there, my little person who we control in a funny kind of way. Why don't you hit the sack, Frank? I'll take over from here, okay? Thanks, Dad. Well, Joel, we're gonna swing right into this week's invention exchange. Frank? You know, when you've been hospitalized as frequently as I have, the same old hospital food gets to be a real drag, particularly the flavorless swill that they pump intravenously into your arms as you drift in and out of consciousness. That's why I've invented these new tasty boil-in-the-bag intravenous dinners. Who says a coma can't be delicious? That's right, no more glycopyrrolate administered drably at 0.8 milligrams per liter of Ringer's lactate. This is hearty Irish stew with cubed lamb. Mm. And this is a delightful uh, poulon vin rouge that we have here. Is that tine I'm tasting? 60 parts per million, Frank. Uh, here's uh, cauliflower, and uh, would you like to see our dessert cart? <laughs> Should I? Well, we have uh, Palomira figs in a port sauce that's very tasty, or uh, almond cake with apricot coulis. It's really decadent. <laughs> okay, you talked me into it, but please, small portions. <laughs> what do you think, Joel? I don't. Whoa, good one. Oh, good one. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Um, our invention exchange this week, sirs, are based on the old classic pop-up books we had when we were kids. But now that I've grown up, uh, my tastes have changed, and I like a more sophisticated fare. So we all got together and came up with some 
pop-up books for some adult titles like uh, Charles Dickens' uh, Great Expectations. Ooh, oh, look at that. that. Isn't that yeah. sweet? Yeah. Yeah. Birthday cake with That's rats lovely. on it. Oh, uh, there's the pop-up version of Tolstoy's Anna Karenina. Oh, this okay. is one of my favorites. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. That's the end of the caboose. Caboose. And for that touch of despair, there's always Albert Camus' classic, The Plague. Ah, yeah. Ooh, that's how that goes. And, and I made a special one, a pop-up version of William Burroughs' Naked Lunch. Oh, no, no, I, no, no. I don't think uh, we okay. should. That wouldn't be right, no. sirs. <laughs> Joel, I was just fluffing Frank's pillow. Uh, well, your your movie today is is really bad. Uh, it's called Master Ninja uh, One, I think. <laughs> Enjoy. Push the button, Frank. I had jello today. Oh, right. I'll get it. Oh, we got movies! No, they were just having a pillow Gee, fight. Gee, those That's guys all. are mean. Master Ninja Eye? A wandering ninja eye. Oh, hmm. right. Lee. Hmm. Look at he's black and blue from all that fighting. Bluer than I remember. You see, he learned too late that man is a feeling creature. Okay, Elvis, we know you're in there. <laughs> what, did Lee Harvey Oswald shoot this footage? Ooh. Hey, Shokashugi. <laughs> is that the kind of thing you have with rice and uh, a little <laughs> nori it. wrapper? It's a food, Chinese food. Hi. I'm Max Keller. I'm a seagull. This is how I usually leave a bar. Mm -hmm. Max. 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 Bunch of bikers were harassing a young couple. Is... Naturally, I had to try to stop. I don't think they liked me. Demi Moore. <laughs> I think I'll try Without again. a clue, Gallagher. <laughs> I like him. Stick around. This should be fun. Not with Claude Aikens in it. Mm -mm. Oh, look, now he's the great Carl Michael Demmer. Thank you, Robert Klaus, for uh, I don't know what. Hey, uh, you want to check the oil while you're under there? And uh, while you're at it, check your career. Thank you. It was a lovely wedding. <laughs> Oh, we're in Deadwood, South Dakota. No. Uh oh. Side hacking. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Oh, the carnage. Back to you, Ed. <laughs> that kills me. Halfway across the world was a man who was going to change my life. John Peter McAllister, hmm? the only Occidental American ever to become Miss Japan. Ninja. Time for you to go, little fellow. I thought I thought Dwayne Bieta. I did, I did. It's Wee Van Queef. It's eight at night. You can take off your jammies. He dresses like Sheila E. I do like the John Cage soundtrack. Mm -hmm. There's the John Cage right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cripes, it's those turtles. They moved next door, now I'll never get any sleep. Boy, is this ever Japan. You mm -hmm. know, you can really tell this is Japan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that stings, ouch. Betty Hana, no! Hey, better, hey, better, better, hey, better. Okay, uh, the couch will be first base and invisible guy on third. Oh, oh my knee! Oh my elbow! Oh, oh my thigh! Oh, oh my back! Oh, my throat! Oh, oh, my, oh, my shin! Oh, my shoulder! Oh, oh. Tonight on Bravo, Martha Graham's new dance company. Oh, they're gonna need a new roll of tissue. Mm -hmm. So I called Allstate immediately. Lee Van Cleef is Master Ninja. Ooh. Meanwhile, in the movie 1941... He's on his way to the United States to find a daughter he never knew he had. Yes. Ellerston. 
I don't understand. Weird ended up name with for me. a daughter. Once you got out alive. Look, I'm getting on that plane, and I'm where I'm going. I can't be with me. Or, Wait, sir, you forgot your credit card. Oh, those IUDs are dangerous. Boy, aren't they? No, wait a minute. Is it, is it me, or did I just lose face? Meanwhile, in Illinois, USA... <laughs> gave a girl a ride in my wagon. Oh, I love that song. Somewhere in the twilight zone. Look, he's talking to the sound man lying on the floor. Wait! Wait! Demi Moore? I've dreamed of her running out of the woods into my Chevy van. Whoa, that's Demi Moore! Whoa! Help me, please! Don't wait, please. I wasn't even gonna stop. Whoa, you're a mess. Were you at Prince's house? Special guest appearance by the car from Stranded in Space. The Fury 3. And what a fury it is. Don't do that. I like classical music. Good. Henry likes Mozart. He saw Amadeus from my pocket three times. Henry? The little guy there with the brown fur and fonda eyes. Henry, portrait of a serial journal. Who's this behind us? Must have got separated from the wedding party. Just get me out of here, okay? Hey, where do you get those dash mounted gerbil cages? What, are you doing? what does it look like? Please, just take me to the airport. Hmm? You really must want to get away from this guy. No, no. My father's airport, Trumbull's airfield. It's just right on the other side of the trees. You kind of know where that is. Just passing through. Gee, doesn't your dad have an you airport? Dad behind us? Yeah, I know him. Husband or boyfriend? Oh, well, he's a horn salesman. I don't salesman. have either look, Mr. Max Keller. Holly Trumbull, you're great and I'm really scared. And all I ask is just please take me to my home. Okay, okay, I'll take you, I'll take you. Do you need a lozenge or something? Ooh. Filmed in Mendocino County, Illinois. So we got into this hood. <laughs> Six more of those little suckers going like hell. You bastard! Ain't got no rear view mirror. You know, you're kind of a high maintenance date, you know that? Anything you uh, left out of this damsel in distress going? Like that's a cop behind us? Just don't stop. Oh, wow. Listen, lady, uh, cops and I don't quite snuggle up. Sheriff Kyle has a personal vendetta against myself and my father. Mm. A vendetta? Take a better look, okay? Do I need to spell it out for you? The man tried to yep. rape me. Cop? Uh, now he's trying to shoot me. S-H-O-O-T? into these things. Run over! This is the sheriff's office! Office, that's a car! Brace yourself against the dash and don't let Henry fall out. He gets crazed when he's mad. Here comes your TV car chase. It's the TV car chase theme. Hey, your TV car chase. Your TV car chase Hold on. theme. Ha. Book it! TV car chase. I hope Stephen J. Canal is in that car. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pass go, Max. Go directly to jail, Max. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Only you can prevent car explosions. I thought you died on me. You haven't moved for an hour. A warrior in 16th century Japan sat under an icy waterfall. He looks like one of Henson's rats. His arms above <laughs> his head like this, without moving for 86 hours. Why'd he do that? I can't imagine. Yeah, Look, well, I'm I going for the tree if you keep talking, old man. Slow heartbeat. Seems I've been drinking Close a lot. The door on the senses and listen to the silence. <laughs> Mind if we don't talk for the rest of the trip? Look, do you think you um, could stick around? Might need you. I'm going off duty for the day. Oh, sure. A loner. I got the time. Sit reading the classified ads in the local motel until Dick Powell comes running down the television alley at midnight. Oh, uh, let Dennis head. Miller do Dennis Miller, <laughs> Danny. Sounds good the way you put it. Is Mike Tommy Bulging? Hey, how's Bruce these days? Oh. Um, get his hands on me. I'm sorry. It makes three of us. Henry was just getting to like him. Oh. So where's a good place to stay around here? Sala Grave, train tracks are nice. Uh, Cloverleaf Motel is back down the road a couple of miles. Cloverleaf? Maybe that'll change my luck. So long. Max, um, 
I believe you can order chilled champagne even after midnight. In case Dick Powell's company isn't enough. Won't be. What are Good. they talking about? <laughs> I have no idea. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave this bar through the window, pal. Hmm? Huh? After wrecking the sheriff's car, I thought I'd take a break. I didn't know McAllister was right behind me. Alistair McAllister? Did I meet a ninja in a bar? It's a lot of fun. Hmm. He looks about as much like a ninja as Irene Ryan. <laughs> In fact, it is Irene Ryan. Hmm. You know, everybody's going to know he's a ninja if they play that theme every time he comes in somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody's got their own theme music. Hey, what's the guy got to do to get beat up in this place? That's funny, they've quit playing my theme music. Hey, isn't that the guy from Blazing Saddles? Hmm. Wanted to buy you a drink, partner. We're bringing Holly back in one piece. Hmm. Last time he blacked her eye. Someday someone's gonna settle it with the sheriff. Uh, by the way, who are you? I'd like to do it myself. Well, let me. At one time, a Singapore sling would have been the only answer. Now I want a peanut buster parfait. I'm looking for this person. I uh, sell do you drinks. take happenings coupons? You want information? There's a sheriff right there. Oh. It's over the hey. top. Hi, uh, could I talk to you for a second? No! That's enough, boys. Oh, wow. Well, look at him. Yes, I the petite, a little oh, airport pretty. negligee. <laughs> you want to stretch this down the stem, old man? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'll just die Ooh. if they find my tiger bone. Bonita, darling. You may not touch that. Right. Just keeps getting better, don't it? Hmm? Hmm? I've been hearing about him down at the truck stop. It's a ninja truck that stop. That old man can take care of himself. Yeah, well, the sheriff and I have a prior. <laughs> Go for <laughs> it, kid. Hard and fast. Yeah. How do pixies go? Liar! You liar, you! That's enough! That's huh? enough! Let's get that loud now! Which one? Hmm? <laughs> oh! Ooh. It must be a health inspector. Hmm. Ah! Tilt! <laughs> hey, look, if you lost your quarter, just fill out a form and... Oh. What do we do with these here tokens? Good thing I'm not a cigarette machine. This guy would have kicked my butt. <laughs> Eight ball, corner, <coughs> well, you know the rest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, it unscrews. Oh. oh. Ah. It's rules. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it started falling before it kicked it. <laughs> hey, was that necessary? Look, Lee, we made some mistakes. You made some mistakes. I need your help. Hey, You're I kidding. got some tools in my truck. Oh. Ever think of hiring that as a tornado? Just get me out of here. Man, is he hammering. Oh, smells like urine and cedar chips in here. Let's yeah, yeah, be cheap. Hey. Crazy. You always carry an arsenal with you everywhere you go? You always carry a hamster? All my possessions are with me. Some are more lethal than others. I was in a bar one time in Saigon. Yeah, right when you were a baby. He tears the place to pieces, like it was made out of nothing. Ah, uh, I'll get out right ninja. here. A ninja? Yeah, he carried a variety of different little weapons in a leather pouch. Oh, that's a chiropodist. Mm -hmm. Hey, what else you got in that suitcase of yours? My toothbrush. Which could rip a man's teeth out. Ooh. How could you be hurt? I mean, no one even came near you. Shuriken wound. It's a small spike wheel, and the small on my back keeps reopening. We better stay out of the emergency room so the sheriff gets tired of watching him. Yeah, you better take the wheel out of your back. Too. Find some place else. <laughs> you little dickens. You're home? <laughs> You're traveling in it, Jack. You're jacking in it, Trav.
Trumbull, any one of my client's proposals would make you a very wealthy man. Claude Aikens, and he's got his ape mask. Oh, no, and, uh, it's just Claude. Buy yourself LaGuardia. <laughs> yeah, couch would be cheaper. In my office, there's a picture of a field with a Jenny sitting there. Well, that's that wire A man thing. with a man in a leather flying jacket wearing a red scarf. He's got his arm around the shoulder of another man. Oh, Tom Selleck. And you know where that field is, Mr. Hanlon? You've caused my client to lose a lot of money. And yourself... Oh, William Daniels wannabe. Unnecessary that grief. feels right Michael. here. And the man in the leather flying jacket wearing a red scarf, that's my father. Oh, it was a trick question. And the older man with the biplane, a fellow named Wilbur Wright, who had gone to have lunch with my father because he'd invented <laughs> a little thing called a turn and bank indicator. And Mr. Wright thought that this would be a good place to build an airport. Bad place to film a movie. And my father thought so, too. I can assure you... No. I have no clue what you're talking about. If Mr. Christensen would like to come by here and take a plane ride, it's on the house. Oh, he's going to stab him in the throat like Godfather 3. Maybe he'd have a better perspective of the world from 5,000 feet. Those lenses cost me a lot of money. Great. Please, be very careful. <gasps> oh, I thought he was going to rip off his mustache. Every Ooh. time I fly into this airport, I look down through the clouds. And I spit. And I see some good memories. Oh. They wouldn't look that good any place else. Ooh. You tell Mr. Christensen that. Mr. Christensen, hoist the mainsail! No, Christian. Very well. Oh, wait there. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Doyle. Claude Aikens, ladies and gentlemen. Claude Aikens, let's give him a big hand. He'll be back later in the show. <laughs> you know, say what you want, but Claude Aikens has a nice rump. Right, really? doesn't he, though? Are you guys talking about my butt? Nope. Oh. Uh, you crack me up, I've seen a show. <laughs> Thought you might need some help. But there's a run and old guy's getting tough tonight. What are you doing back here? Hey, Just Christians. Property owner. Owns as much of this town as the law will allow. Ah, the character meeting place. The shopping center. Just stay out of this, Holly. He got into some more trouble and brought it back. Some old guy the sheriff was hassling. All the way from town, huh? Someone's broken a flaw. My van. Take him to the PQ. Get him a deli bar. Uh, Mr. Aikens, right, deputy, want to see your butt. Start searching over there. You got a warrant, Sheriff? Yeah, I got a made-for-TV warrant right you here. You better have one before you take one more step under my tarmac and a stretcher to take you off. Threatening an officer of the law is a serious offense. You're not listening to me. Now, you get off my property. No, right. man's got to know his limitations, Clint. All I'm going to need is one more help, A.A. Hey, hey, and friend. I'll be back to search the place. Chew on that. What happened, Kyle? Who's Kyle? Yeah. Sir. Who is he? I to know the answer to that one myself. Uh, he's the ugly. No, he's the bad. Oh. See you later. Ooh, there's a lot of electricity in that, I'll tell you. Ooh. Wow, he got paid to kiss Demi Moore. Mm -hmm. Most people have. Ooh. Did she kiss you? <laughs> it's scary. Seemed like the right moment. Doom! Guess they're just not making ninjas the way they used to, huh? Guess not. What a bird. What do you know of the ninja? I had my it's son, my uncle in Milwaukee. Best friend is a ninja. You know, I'm surprised your fellow ninjas let you go. There was a send -off. Yeah, pinwheel in the back. Nice. <laughs> Max Keller. Do I get Here. to call you master? It's got a ring to it. Yeah, so does a bathtub. John Peter McAllister's a name on the discharge. From where? They don't teach what you did in any army I know of. Army Air Corps. At the end of the war, I found myself in Japan. A ticket home and nowhere to go. Why didn't you go home? Something about the tranquility. The tranquility of post-war Japan? <laughs> what brought you home? Or were you just running? You know, this scene is really faithful Search. to the book. It shows. My daughter. One I didn't even know I had. Her name's Lefty. Wrote to me a month ago from Ellerston. This picture's taken outside of one of Trumbull's hangars. Why is yeah, well, she face? handcuffed to a biplane? And that's why you've traveled halfway around the world after 30 years? Just to find her? What other reason could there be? World perks card, frequent flyer miles. You're looking over your shoulder for someone. Secrets locked inside your head that no one else can know about? Lots of secrets. <laughs> Take the ones you can give. Ah! It sounded like the stitches were ripping. Mm -hmm. Oof. I don't understand. I'm making a deal with you. 
I'll help you find your daughter. If you'll teach me what you did in that bar. And the way you moved. The way you felt. The way you sing off key. All kinds of tricks in that suitcase of yours. You would not endure the discipline. Try me. Or the emotional commitment. What, was you don't think I got emotions? Too many of them. You're practically Leo Pascalia. Take on six attackers at once. That's not where it is, Max. You can hack it. You got nice qualities. Strong cheekbones. But not for a ninja. Anyway, I'm a cantankerous old man who's lived alone a lot of years. And I'm gonna learn the true meaning of Christmas. And see why. I've been alone too. Aw. Just, just thought <laughs> I'd try another route. Another paper route. Yeah. Anyway, hang in there, old fella. I'll hang in. Good luck finding your daughter. Go to bed, old man. This dialogue was lifted from Then Came Bronson. Say hi to Dick. Good luck finding you, sir. What? Did you say something? When Moomin Chance goes bad. Oh, uh, no, it goes in, in the tank. No. That's enough. Get to the hangar. <laughs> cold, cold. You know we're near the tank. Warmer. Here's Catherine Hepburn gassing up her plane. Guess oh. nobody wants us, Henry. This is the dark night of our souls. Looks like Edie Sedgwick fell asleep again. Well, and speaking of flaming, it's about time to go. I got things you know to do. That oh, actresses oh, always, you know, actresses are always run into a flaming building. Hey, Crow, come back. Hey. Hey, little circuit guy, what are you working on? You kind of left the theater in a hurry, you know. Yeah, what's the hoodoo, Skitter? Uh, hey, uh, dim the lights, guys. I got something to show you. Uh, Cambot, uh, play some of that appropriately tension-filled incidental music. What, what's this all about? We can't talk here. Crow, well, aren't you being just a bit overdramatic? Well, sure. Uh, but I've stumbled upon a plot that once exposed will blow the lid off the entertainment industry. Did either of you two stop to consider for a moment why Timothy Van Patten is in this stupid film? Uh, Patrick Swayze was busy? Good guess, but I thought of that. No, we're dealing with something even more terrifying than the Swayze conundrum. I'm talking about a plot more insidious. Gentlemen, I present for your consideration, assist, the Van Patten Project. Sitting atop the Van Patten corporate structure, Dick Van Patten, or should I say Don Dick Van Vito Patten Corleone. His evil plan to place an annoyingly bad actor, preferably one of his own hellish drop, in every B-grade made-for-TV and low-budget film in Hollywood. Uh, that would be all of them. <laughs> <clears throat> his plan is quite simple. He begins his career with the Lunt, scatting about in legitimate theater. Then he snatches a plum roll in the television sitcom Mama. The popular show runs until 56. Then, mysteriously, no dick. <sighs> Fade to the 70s, decade of shame. Dick explodes across the television screen with shows like the new Dick Van Dyke show and The Partners, When Things Were Rotten, and Eight Is Enough, a show that launched the criminal career of many a young hack talent. Uh-huh. Now, Timothy Van Patten comes forth to do his evil in the White Shadow, the master. Then James Van Patten gets a small role in the short-lived Western, the Chisholms. And then what happens to him? I don't know. And then there's Vincent. Vincent, who is truly abysmal in Apple's way and three for the road, then became the bionic boy. At least he could smell the bacon frying and had a good sense to become a tenant player. The parallels with... The Godfather are inescapable. 
Sad when it happens to somebody you know, isn't it? Know. Uh, and her Joyce Van Patten. Yes, Joyce, sister of Dick, the real power behind the Van Patten Empire. Joyce, like Caligula's grandmother, plotting and planning in the background a string of failures in her wake. The Don Rickles Show, crime. the Mary Tyler Moore Hour, the good guys, her with Habo, Herb Edelman, and Bob Denver, a show I actually kind of liked, except uh, for the third season when Rufus got rid of the taxi and helped out more in the diner. You know, because uh, then it really kind of started... Crow, start Crow, would you please get to your point? Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Come on, you're coming with me. That's Whoa! Ah! Uh, we'll be right back after this. And we'll be building from Willow Lane. Oh, right fun, huh? I feel better. Yeah, I'm eating up. I'm going to be a beauty. Good luck with the center. Wonderful party, Mr. Christensen. TV's Tony Danza. Oh, cool. So, what do you think? I think your shopping center's premature, considering you don't own the ground. Yeah, well, so standing. are you. Oh. And how did it go down? It didn't go down, Mr. Christensen. But how did you hear that? Like a big fireball. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I, I, I don't understand your remark. Maybe you can understand this. Nope. We're dealing with real people here. With Skip the Stevenson? Kind of things and care about them. You can't be poor like your Harvard flunky here. Go ahead. Blow up another airplane. Set fire to the whole damn airport. Because you're not going to move Trumbull or his daughter four feet off that passive earth. Not Way to oh. stick it to oh. the man. Oh. Yeah. It's not a familiar name to me. And here's a name to get familiar with. Max Keller. It's mine. I want you to get used to it because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Probably down at the DA's office. Because all the DA's are Someone named Max me Keller. You're not now. on the guest list, Mr. Keller. Long line of party crashes. Mr. Keller walked into the wrong party. See him out, would you? Would you? Enjoy all this, pal. Because it's just going to be a sweet memory when you're an 8 by 6 box. What? No shots. You're in the next room. Uh, Kager's next door, I believe. It's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Just Don't a worry. Just a Van Patten, ladies okay. and gentlemen. All part of the act. <laughs> it's okay. Tell Kyle, I want that young man in jail. Then kill him. Cheers, Mr. Keller. Ooh, right on the gerbil. Oh, indoor or outdoor, this is the best carpet I've ever been thrown out on. Mm. Got thrown out. I figured. Uh, I shop here for my disco shirts. Even Rocky had to take a couple of lessons before he went back in the ring with Clubber Lang. Cl Clubber Lang? These are fictional now, characters you're talking about. I can't about. control your passions, the least I can do is teach you enough to stay in one piece. Thought you'd never offer. How do you know about Rocky? You've been out of the country for over 30 years. I saw him on the airplane. Yeah, I tried to walk Hell out. Hell of a guy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh. You're kidding with this outfit, right? It's traditional. We'll ease you into it. Come at me. No holds barred. I'm going to kill you. Uh, okay. Whoa, we're getting into a whole <laughs> weird area now. You have got to be kidding me. Uncle. Hmm? Hone your reflexes. Do you react swifter than thought? Oh, the now key. you tell me. Here, right? The center of your being. Inner strength. What about getting the outer strength smacked out of you? That's something you should also be concerned about. <laughs> Let's see how you kick. You know, Black is so slimy, you can't even see his gut anymore. Oh, I don't know what happened. Good. That was really, uh, oh, oh, it was still a... good. What, now he's in a, he's a Wallenda? Yep, yep, he sure is. Yep. A ninja must have perfect balance. <laughs> sure, that's Van Cleef, right? He could hardly hoist himself into the van. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Lee Van Petite. <laughs> right. I don't think so. Uh, we, we really don't need to see that. Want to. David Carradine. Ooh. And the judges give him a 9.7. Nice dismount. Keep your eyes on the attack. Keep your eye upon the spur. From in here. Extend. Then rake these leaves. Ah, expect attack from any direction. Concentrate! What else you got in that suitcase? 
when you're ready. It's a woozle. His name is Peanut. Hmm. Oh, it's Queen Latifah, oh, of am. course. I can't hack it. Max. If you don't think I'm walking away from Christians, because I told him I was going to nail him and I meant it. Thanks for the lesson. That's 45.50 cash. You have more tenacity than I expected. And speed and courage. And an agent who couldn't guarantee a Thanks. stunt double. You do me a damn bit of good. It showed you can do more than fight. And that you're going to have to do. Now you're beginning to understand me. You have no choice. You saw Kyle set the fire at the airport. You let Christensen know who you are. Unless you split town. Well, all of a sudden, it's a Barnaby Jones wrap-up now. That chance. You'll have to deal with this. We? I didn't we? like what happened last night. I didn't like that at all. It had no texture. Maybe the sheriff would like yeah. a visit from a real live Ouch. ninja. That could be arranged. As soon as I get my breath back. <laughs> and some breath mints. I don't mind. What is it? Got my breath back. Feels Presents. great. Let's make that visit. He is one spooky mama jama. The man with the chainmail face. Next. I was working the day watch out of Illinois, USA. You can throw your star at the man who drives the car. You have a ride? Does that bug you? Does that bug you? I hate magic acts. Christ, and I'm all out of cars. Wonder Woman, Lyle Wagner. <laughs> Ooh, thumb cuffs. Torch the airport. What? I don't know what you're... Name him. Ah. Name him. Uh, phrase it in the form of a question. Rossetti. Palmer. Johnson. Donahue. Who are they? The new monkeys. Police reserve. Oh. Every word passed through the DA's office. They'll be by directly. Now, where's Christian? You can... I can get mean and nasty. But my friend behind you. You know the one dressed in black with the samurai sword? Louise you know Nevelson? Those ninjas are. Always going around beheading each other. Barbaric, I know. But to them, it's some kind of ritual. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, where's Christensen? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll talk now. Oh, am I scared? Hey, Phil. How are you? Like a man who keeps his head. Don't you? <laughs> Again, you got me. That is rich. <laughs> Next, on a very special Trapper John. Rub the Mercedes for good luck. There's a guard in the lobby at the front desk. A lot of monitors and security guards. Well, shut up, then. Bosses on the top floor. How do we get up there? I would suggest you use the elevator. How are you going to get up there? I'll walk up. Oh, what did you eat? Stairs? The building. <laughs> Sorry I asked. I'm here to kill Mr. Christensen. Oh, go right up, Mr. Van Patten. Max Keller to see Mr. Christensen. Look at... Oh, sorry, you little mustard <laughs> down there from lunch. I should have gone down like a sack of flour. Ooh. Sometimes an old-fashioned right-hand cross comes to handy. It's a paperweight, and it's a gun. Clue Gallagher <laughs> is that character I can't think of. <laughs> Master Ninja, I hate that show. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, well, like I say, always keep a supply of pegboard hooks in your pocket. You never know when they'll come in handy. Jack's Master. In color. Master Ninja. Oh, nuts! That's my car! Master Ninja. Cover your shame. 
Ron Say, Ninja Dodger. <gasps> Paris. That old man can take care of himself. Huh? Hey, you don't suppose that guy was supposed to be that guy? And Queen Latifah. No way. Well, whoever he is, his nose is whistling. And he was that guy? Unbelievable. He was in every scene in the movie. He was Demi Moore. He was that journal. Crow, he crow. Was... Easy. Easy, oh, buddy. Right. Yeah, just grab the seven iron. Clarence the Cross-Eyed Ninja. He who removeth the sword from its sheath shall be the right wise born king of England. Can huge go? Welcome, you. Hey, Ali, you want to check those bags at the door? <laughs> Woo. I think I'll check my credit rating while I'm here. Hi, I'm Bonnie, your huge co-operator. Oh, back to work. <laughs> The ninja creeps in on little cat feet. Am I in the right movie? Hey, Lee, come over here a sec. Wait, whose theme music is that? Can he sneeze through that thing? Ooh. He's wearing a Joe Namath netted slingshot brief on his face. face. Yeah, and meanwhile, Timothy's having a non flashback. Ooh. And over here on the 30th floor of the Ernest and Julio Gallo wine cellar, uh... Christensen. Who is it? Who? Helicopter's a little late, huh? Too bad. Your lawyer, Mr. Haviland, and Sheriff Kyle are both under arrest. Oh, they are? I, I have no idea what's going on. Of course on. you know that. That's why you're leaving in such a hurry. Hmm? His office looks like a chi mm -hmm. Hey, bring me those nachos. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you planned. Oh, on top of it all, he's a ventriloquist. Well, glad we had this chance to meet again, Mr. Keller. Otherwise, your grandstand play last night wouldn't mean a thing, would it? Because it ain't got no swing. Any offense of any creeps well, in this place? It's better late than never. Just one question. <clears throat> Can I use your fax machine? What would that be? How do you plan on getting up on the roof? Hmm. You really think you can stop me, Keller? Just keep talking. <laughs> oh, it's a ventriloquist pistol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hello to the folks, Remington. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about that knick-knack shelf. Uh -huh. I see it. Mm. <laughs> Kids, what was that? <laughs> Good thing he studied with that ninja for those ten minutes. <laughs> Jack. Now this movie is clueless. Woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, because there's. He died. Meanwhile, in the other incomprehensible plot, Queen Latifah takes a. I've been expecting you. Hmm? A ninja does not betray his destiny. Oh. You will die. Okay, fine. Just wait a second. Let me uh, park the tape drive here. You didn't pay for your leather mug. Why didn't he just kill him when he was watching him from the tree? Those things are four fifty a piece. Uh, okay, one more and then to bed for you. I'll take him. Right. Okay, you take him now. Oh. Huzzah. Oof. Okay, okay, knock it off. You're getting obnoxious about it now. <laughs> Ooh.
<laughs> you know, Doris is going to be irked if she sees this mess in the morning. Yep. Hey. Ah, there go the financials for December. Uh, I'll take him. Uh, make him laugh, make him laugh. Things got everything. Oh. A lot of yelling. Oh, now you've ruined the whole ambience of the room. <laughs> I'll take it from here. I'll clean up. You are a ninja. Kill your enemy, as you've always done. Kill him. What? A Kirin? Ah, uh, yeah, I could go for a Never Kirin. Again. No more raspberry commies. There will be another time. They will be coming for you. If you could just take this off my yeah. chest and move it to the side, it would be... Uh, most I'll be waiting. In all the old familiar places. Ooh, I always do that. Ouch. I'll turn it back on that guy. Do you see what he did to me last time? You won't fight again tonight. It's hurt. An artery was severed. Boy, it's not even bleeding. He? Okasa, now a ninja master, was one of my students. Sent to kill you. What ancient little gadget did you use to sever Okasa's artery? My fingers. Sticky fingers. Sorry I asked. Oh, not designed as a real sword, only a toy. Darn. Mendoza! Epilogue. Holly knows your daughter. She's in Atlanta. She all right. Find that out when you get there. I can take you that far. Hmm. I hope she's into big ass medallions. Pretty. Symbol of my household. Got what it from Bob Vila. I don't get it. For another man to possess it would mean I was no longer alive. You guys got your own set of rules. No one else can play, huh? Yeah, and I'm always the banker. I was punk. taught the secrets of the ninjas for a purpose so that I might pass them on the way my master passed them on to me. And I end up with a has-been anyway, from White Shadow. <laughs> what good is a ninja teacher without a student? Well, those who can't ninja teach. <laughs> hey, here comes Betty Jo. Ooh. Hi. Hi, Betty Jo. I've met people way cooler than you. <laughs> Let's roll, folks. Oh. Say hi to the bread pack. Oh, that thing. Oh, it's scary again. Yes, yes. Found myself in Japan after the war. Boy, talk about tranquil. Whew, let me tell you. But anyway, I got to know some ninjas. Hey, they're great guys, and they're thick as flies over there. Well, one thing led to another, and I found my... Whoa! Yo, rinse for rested accidental rooster. Me and my scary theme music will follow you and your plaza kataros will to the end of the earth. And then I will... Ah, <laughs> kill you! Ah, ah, kill you, cheap, cheap yeah. Japanese accent! You can tell, as you can tell by my theme music that I'm a typical American. You want to see the way we leave a bar? <laughs> <laughs> the power of my music is the you weakness, weakness of my music. Oh, you... But you're coming, Oriental accent. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned left hook. Hey, how cool are you guys? Hey, hey, Chipsy, what are you supposed to be? Don't you want to be Demi Moore? It shows. Don't even think about it, Frank. Send him the movie. Time. Oh, 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 we got movie time! Let's put it on! Oof, fun, huh? 
<laughs> uh, can we see a menu, please? It's Kelly Patterson. She was the girl standing next to your daughter. Sleep. In the the old man runs this place. I'll try and catch her after this dance. We don't want to integrate you too fast into modern day society. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> All right, you go talk to the pretty girl. I'll talk to her father. What a pal. Anytime. <laughs> I love the way they banter. Such chemistry. <laughs> Uh, miss, could we please get some bread or something? She owes me five dollars. Stay in a guy, stay in a guy. Jack Perkins? <gasps> no! Oh, yeah! Jack, no! <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Hey, what happened to Demi Moore? This is getting weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, swing it, Lee. Woo, look at him go. <laughs> yeah. Grr. Oh, my God, what happened to her other leg? Oh. Woo, woo. Mrs. Ironside in color. She's something, isn't she? A true spirit permeated with joy. And she moved great. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> we're bold and we're bonding. Uh, where's Jill? He's in the kitchen. She's watching old movies, hmm? Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson? I'll be right with you. Oh, he's a cool duck, man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I uh, hate to burst your bubble, but she stinks. <laughs> It's Alan Thick. Oh, uh, Tim. Hi, <laughs> we're here to buy everything. How much Fusion is that? jazz is for all cultures. Well, oh, that's one way to get service, I suppose. Perhaps you can help us. Candy coated popcorn peanuts and a prize. We've come to see Mr. Patterson in the office. Thank you so much. Oh no, thank you. Looks like Clarence Thomas's wife. Oh, Lee, don't worry. She's used to it. The Kennedys come here a lot. You think with all the roughnecks we get in this place, I'd be used to it. You were right to be afraid. Be very afraid. My, but you are a sensitive male. See ya. Oh, it's the other side of the mountain. What are you doing, Jill? I'm watching you and Mother dance the waltz from Lady Be Good. Down in front, old man. Ah, uh, you know, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers Look that left lift. it. Look at the way you moved. You were so graceful. Yet so effeminate. I'll just bet you had Mr. Astaire shaking in his dancing pumps. That was his dresser, I don't actually. Think he was shaking too hard. I think know. it's kind of sicko for the leader of a wheelchair brigade to get such a charge out of watching other people dance. Yes, actually. I don't mean the way my sister dances. That's not dancing. It's That's typing. Aerobic. Now, what you did was dancing. I bet you could still do it, too, if you yeah. really wanted. Maybe if I had a hip. Or if he was hip. You're right, Dad. Put some hot towels on my legs at half-hourly intervals. A couple of FDR oh, canes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I might be able to manage a couple of steps. A cane didn't hurt Mr. Astaire's career. <laughs> oh, baby. Don't you just hate dealing with it? An ex-hoofer with two daughters. Hooker? Oh. One wheels, the other cartwheels. One is shy and retiring, and uh, one has a smart mouth. Ooh, too shy. My sister shy and retiring. <laughs> the decade's answer to Isadora Duncan. What, she wears scarves? That's angry, Jill. Sorry, I'm bitter. I wonder what she calls me. Yep. Oh, that's Isn't that mean. what you call yourself? You know, wait a minute. I took two steps yesterday. Yep, ten to go, honey. I know. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is your audition for the Dancing Pirate. This, this is a blast. You are really gadding it up. We'd like to buy her wheelchair. Mr. Patterson, how good to meet you in person after all those phone calls. I'm Jonathan Chan, and this is Mr. Lika. Uh, are you related to Mr. Flem? Uh, would you excuse us, young lady? Your father and I have some important business to discuss. In a pig's eye. <laughs> when talks about on. pigs, when sweats. Watch your feet, gentlemen. I'm lethal with this thing. 
you mind? Oh, my foot. So, let's talk business. There's a little trouble up front. Big China. While Attila the Hun was distracted, I saw my chance to get backstage. This was going to be easy. At first. Oops. Thank God I lost my peripheral vision in the war. Hey, what is this, dream on all of a sudden? Don't take your hands from your eyes, you're gonna walk into the wall. Huh. Uh, you got a D cup or a decap? Decap, right? <laughs> I really shouldn't be back here. Our bouncer has a small personality problem. Who, Attila the Hun? We're pals. Kelly Patterson, I'm Max Keller. Looking for a girl. No, are you? Stars are in the right places, it'd be you. Right. Her name's Terry. You know her? Uh, you found don't answer your name, Terry. Look, uh, we're on a break now, and I've got to go meet someone. Sorry. Yeah, but I. Uh, Sorry. I would just take a look at this picture and see if... Is it my breath? Well, it wasn't as easy as I thought. Hmm. And it's time for the bouncer to get into his spandex leotard. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Kelly did mention a small personality problem of yours. Yeah, you hate Van Pat. <laughs> it's the battle of the network has been. Yeah, that's for all of that patents you've kicked out of box. Yeah, you like this, pal. Here's a little warning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, seven years bad acting. A little more practice. I told you, eight is enough. So, seven years bad luck. Meanwhile, the master was getting us into even more trouble. Snapping off car antennas in the parking lot. <laughs> Ninja masters blending so well. Mm, especially in discos. Like the roots of a great oak. We take hold where we can. The only protection I need is from people like you. Now get out. Isn't everyone here really phony? I cannot move. That's an unusual insignia on your ring. An ancient household going back for centuries. Knights of Columbus? Yes. I know. You an Iron Butterfly man? We've been told to leave. Let's go. Come on, man. That Jack Perkins guy really scares me. I may leave when he lets me go. Tonight on Ninja Master, Lee Van Cleef and Joe Koshugi in a deadly game of cat and mouse. The old man hired you. I am not for hire. We are all for hire. In dark times. The dark times are gone. Are you guys speaking in haiku all of a sudden? Whoa! Night is always with us. Master. Could you get to the point? Jeez, what a trip. What, oh, she's giving herself her autograph? Taking her own order. Here's her last address. Oh, oh he's so adorable. Spooky what chick. One glimpse of those blue eyes and every girl falls for him. Gotta learn his technique. So when's the last time you saw Terry? Terry Thomas? About a week ago. Look, I hope your friend isn't expecting to find no! you. girl. She's really messed up. Drugs. Yeah, she ran out. <laughs> so, how'd you get past good old Attila? He carries some cute little tricks around with him. Like this. Oh, that's the blade for my mixer. He's just leaving. Here's your gerbil. Daylight already. I didn't realize we were in there so long. <laughs> hey. hey. That's Whoa. Nancy Culp. Nancy Culp oh, just hey. walked by. What the hell was that all about? This is not a toy. You only throw a shuriken against another human being in self-defense. You ever again take another weapon out of my case, you be prepared to use it against your enemy. Even if it's me. And stop using my toothbrush. I'd rather not. Not yet, anyway. I guess you don't respect what you don't understand. I don't respect why this movie was made. Amen. Kelly's address and phone number. All right. I managed to get that much before you hauled me out of there. The other address is your daughter's. Kelly knows her. She knows a girl named Terry who used to be a dancer and a pilot. Terry and the pilot! Doesn't necessarily mean she's your daughter. <laughs> radio show. Let's find out. Well, I'll do the driving. You throw the Kitsubishi and shurikens. 
What? You, you like want to translate that for us, Tim? Get a windsock for the microphone next time you do an outdoor scene. Come on. I don't understand. You're leaving now. I know I'm sitting now next to you. Now comes the fun part. Riding with a ninja. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Chevy Van, a Quinn Martin production. Would you follow? Of course we are. We're in an action pack I made know. for TV movie. Quick, take a turn here on Stephen J. Cannell Boulevard. <laughs> Well, here's a surprise. You're already canceled. <laughs> Flubber! 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 Remember, boys? Think of me as Paul Newman. Steve McQueen. All oh, right. Huh. Yep, Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, Timothy Van Patten. The legends. <laughs> the legends. <laughs> we turn here at David Hasselhoff Boulevard. You know what they're doing? They're just trying to keep away from the set of What's Up, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, back we're in Rockford turn, or is that a Starsky? Who are those guys? Assassins. The Biocasa? Bob no, Costas? Like ninja. You just naturally run into these fellow ninjas everywhere you go. I mean, can't you just shake hands? Do you have to show you can out kill each other? He must believe I was in the club to help Charlie Patterson. Well, what's his problem? <laughs> Tell me later. Yeah, but within the next half hour, please. Hey, this is a school zone. Please. You got a silence around. Oh no, they're being chased by David Sanborn. Oh, routine 27. They Woo. call for it every time. Pull over when you can. Pull over? Ah, uh, I gotta go to the little ninja's room. <laughs> Throw a star. Hold it. Hold it. Yep, yep. Once again, <laughs> the pursuing vehicle is driven by stupid people. I didn't know what he was going to do. So I did a voiceover. I don't think I wanted to know. Hey, if the vans are rocking. <laughs> I feel like snorkeling. Pick me up in an hour. Well, it is a good way to blend in in San Francisco, dressed like a mom. Yep. Mm. Calvin Klein jeans. Where's Demi Moore? This movie's gone off in a whole different direction. Where did he go? I hear his theme music. He's around here somewhere. <coughs> oh, he went to Outward Bound. Hold back up. He's a lineman for the county. Oh, he's going to make crank phone calls. You know, this has all the continuity of a fever dream. Hey, look, yeah. the stunt guy's got a face mask on. Oh. I wouldn't touch this movie with a 12-foot pole. A 50-foot pole. Like Valenza? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Van Cleef. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thomas Hewitt Edward Cat. Hey, you think that guy up on the wires uh, we were looking? Nah, nah, I couldn't. There you go. Bring it in. That's yeah. right. There you Bring go. it in. Yep. Oh, Just oh. like that. That hurts. Put you in the. Oh. Hey. Put oh. a ninja match on top of the car. Uh, could you give me a lift to the gas station? Hey, come on. Uh, this is somewhat similar to the first episode, I mean the first part of the movie. <laughs> the movie yes. Silly String Ninja, in color. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's really rich. <laughs> this is starting to get a little unbelievable. This is no place for a convertible! <laughs> TV movie. TV movie, TV. Oh no, I'm Montero. All right, drop the steering wheel and come with us. You find me pleasing? I squint, therefore I am. Show Kasuji pops the clutch and tells Van Cleef to eat his dust. Oh, 
Oh, ninjas never had those. Damn, he knows Doug Henning. You all right? Yeah, but I'm out 20 bucks. Let's head back to the magic store. Steering wheel gag was a classic. Steering wheel gag to be classic. We call the cops and tell them you were the driver that forced another car off the pier? Doop. Maybe we should pass. A stone. Now you're going to tell me who these guys are? The family affair. They're moving out of Chinatown into a new neighborhood. Only Charlie Patterson's a stubborn old man. And he won't pay protection. And when do you like them? <laughs> you see me again. Well, our ex-hooper doesn't understand who he's dealing with. He's going to have to be convinced. Let's go. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas... Mm -hmm. Oh, I had the Buddha delight. It was right. real reasonable Ooh. here at the Golden Pagoda. Mm -hmm. Our dear Mr. Patterson. Oh boy, to that's have a nice place. They, they, they must imagine. be good thugs. We'll need a little more to bargain with. Uh, we'll send them Pink Lady and Jeff. Like his daughter. Pick up the dancer. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> PJ Truffleberries, try the Fentuzzler. We in the love together. I kind of love that time. <laughs> If I hear any more John Plummer, I'll kill myself. What is this, Ice Castles? Tonight on Rendezvous Theater. Wow. Oh, oh, baby. Baby, I love you so much, baby. If you dance with me, baby, I'll be Still love very white. Yeah, and very good. You, baby. Uh. Are you padding out the film? Cut it out. Hey, check out my AA medallion. Spent the morning 12 step in the Van Patten kid. <laughs> okay, honey, now you're just being self indulgent. Thanks a lot. I'll be back out at 11. She is one spooky chick. Mm Look at what she's wearing. She looks like she works at Arby's. May I take your order, please? <laughs> Get up! Get up, walk! You've never given up on anything in your... Well, actually, I haven't known you that long. <laughs> walk, cause you're filled with love. Walk, cause you have to believe in yourself. A very special yourself. Hallmark Hall of Fame. Walk, cause you want to walk and see. Ah, oh, she's been shot! <gasps> uh, Lee, you can jump in any time here. Come on, give me 20. Come on, one, that's one. Half a one. Oh. He knows you're alone. Boy, that uh, parquet floor must really stink. Butter. Do this. No kidding. Can't. Huh? It comes from the heart. Who's there? He's right in front of you for crying out loud. And reaching out of the darkness. Hmm? Sometimes we can do things for strangers. I've always depended on the kindness Try of strangers. Minutes. What can you do? Would somebody speak up? You can do it. Hmm? I make it my steps. What? Huh? Louder! Imagine a silken cord being spun out of here. Your key. One more step. Oh, I see. That helps. Thank you. I missed most of what you said, but I'm sure it was supposed to be encouraging. You can do it. She's transfixed by his dewlap. Ooh. <laughs> ah, you drooled all over my turtleneck. Oh, you were fantastic, Lee. I appreciate it if you take me back to my chair now. I've been in this restaurant for ten minutes, and I've yet to be seated. Doesn't anybody sleep in this movie? It's like 10 in the morning now, for crying out loud. Uh, mind if I ask you a question? Just what the heck do you have to do with the plot, anyhow? It's a plot. Look, you, uh, did your good deed for the day. Sorry it didn't work out for either one of us. Yeah, he's gone for his ninja merit badge. If you're, uh, here to see the dancing, you're a little late. My sister Kelly's department. Uh, keep talking. I can't remember my lines. It must be tough. What? Having a big sister that moves like an angel? It's a trip. I watch her every night. Oh, hey, that's your Instinct business. Is, uh, <laughs> very vicarious. 
Correct term is physically challenged. Why are you here? I came to see your father. About a horse. Who are you? John Peter McAllister. John Jacob Jingle Heinmer Schmidt. That's my name, too. I'm Jill Patterson. The... Gimp. Jeez. Oh, Handles are dangerous things. I know, love handles. And once you start walking, you won't be called a gimp any longer. Well, you shouldn't be calling her a gimp now, dickweed. Well, those steps did feel pretty good. Like I had weight on them, like I was putting one foot right in front of the other. That's pretty much the concept. Like I was walking, you know? Look that way. Ah, here's Jill, Jack Perkins. Uh, I, uh... Oh, Pops. There's someone here to see you. The Battle of the Turtlenecks. And Lee's not wearing one. You were very good with her. She'll walk up here first. On when she forehead. does that, you'll... You seem to have taken quite an interest in my family. You can't handle that protection thing by yourself. Not against those boys. What kind of skull wax do you use? They're more than just gangsters. They're even the tongue sect. They're ninja. I'll explain. Where's Kelly? Uh, at her day job. The master had sent me to protect Kelly. But if you collect Kelly, you live. Jim Socks, no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was gonna do that! Timothy Van Patten <laughs> is hard to kill. Hey, the keebler! Now, where's that sock? Oh, it's all crunchy. Oh, huh? Excellent. I see that your master has found himself a pupil. They will attempt to be a worthy adversary. Hanger action slacks. That whole action suit there. That's for the White Shadow. I hated that show. And that's where eight is enough. Tell your dad. Oh, now where's that suck? Nothing going on. Nothing at all. Hornet man. It's the people under the stairs. What a pity. Your lessons had to end so abruptly. Well, oh, maybe he can take his ninja equivalency exam and get a certificate. Uh, bleh, bleh. Uh. BJ Truffleberries, try the V2s. Right? fractured ribs. Jeez, check out the they chrome domes in this scene. Woo. Too fast. Couldn't move. No way you're gonna stop them. <laughs> Hello, 1900 Dance Belt. Mr. Patterson. New Jersey? I regret the measures you've forced us to take. However, I'm certain that after our initial misunderstanding, the business between us will be uh, gentlemen. You withdraw $20,000 from the bank today. I haven't got that kind of money to withdraw. Oh, some bonds cashed in, some, some shares sold. Yeah, some shares sold. sold, yeah. A little austerity is good for the soul, Mr. Patterson. <laughs> Speak to your daughter, who is in good health. I'm a little scared. Mm. But that's only natural. Here, it's uh, for you, it's your dad. <laughs> Daddy, there's a boy Daddy? outside. His name is Wang. I'm fine. Don't give him anything. Don't! No, at Daddy? least wait until they cut a chunk of my ear off. No harm will come to her. Because both you and I understand that you are going to cooperate. Yeah, cooperate. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and the man we saw in your club? He will leave San Francisco. You have until 3 o'clock this afternoon. But that's where my soap's on. I'll get the money. I know you will. <laughs> We will call your office at 3 o'clock. Please, don't disappoint me, Mr. Patterson. I so hate to be disappointed. Bye, sir. Hey, don't pad your part, Desi. Come on. Man, she cries at the opening of a bank. We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere in Chinatown, right? Many doors will be closed. Few will hear you. Mm -hmm. All you'll see in their eyes is fear. Because they know and we'll your search you from one end to the other. Not by three o'clock. Can you withdraw that kind of money? I'll have to put a lien on the club. Oh, what the hell? Tip it I over. Can do it. I don't believe what I'm hearing. I do. You were just going to give in to them? Mm -hmm. Pay the ransom? Sell out? Is that what a real ninja would do? I'm not a real ninja, but Off I play screen. one on TV. Illusion. Give them what they expect and they'll believe it. What do we really do? Yep. The unexpected. I don't like this. They'll see us coming. Not if we send the right person. Jill, I need your help. Jill! 
All right, ready, guys? Yo! Hi, go, go to Moscow, hi! I'm Joel Robinson. And I'm Tom Servo. And I'm TV's Wise Cracking Crow. And who can forget this lovable gag? It's my classic self-defense device for farmers, numclucks. Oh, <laughs> now that's a special memory, eh? Right. <laughs> now, in the spirit of today's movie, Master Ninja, we've come up with a whole gaggle of lovable chuck ideas. You see, we've taken the classic Japanese nunchaku, or the bastardized American numchuck, and spun it Right, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, after all, what is a nunchuck but two things on a chain? Yeah. Right. Ooh. So, for instance, a clumsy ninja would use these thumb chucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, also known as dumb chucks. Ooh, good one. <laughs> oh, and uh, for Dominican ninjas who are dressed in black anyway, we offer nunchucks. <laughs> yeah. Benedict's I got all up. the dominoes. Ugh. Sorry, ladies. Ooh. But, you know, uh, for meat lovers, they're going to flip over these classic ground chucks. <laughs> yeah, woohoo. <laughs> Right. Heat them up, eat them up, then summon the Earl up with these up chucks. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's drinking man? Fun. Junior at St. Cloud State? Hey, knock your friends on their sorry butts with a trendy Captain Morgan spiced rum chuck. I keep Ooh, up. Blow <laughs> the man down. Say, Crow, and speaking of butts, there's no better segue into my own butt chucks. <laughs> hey, that's on, that's a that little bit rich. A little too oh, that's far. Lighten up, you guys. Yeah. It's just a couple of rubber gag butts. Jeez. Well, you know what? It's so easy. Why don't you write some Chuck ideas at home, as long as it's done tongue-in-cheek? Yeah, in <laughs> fact, uh, why don't you? Hey, mail your Chuck ideas to Chuck's Care of Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club, P.O. Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. Three. You'll be glad you did. Yeah. Maybe we'll read them on the air. Yeah, we're even going to help you get started here. For instance, you might call these Lammy Soft Weapons of Vengeance... Chuck Warries! <laughs> we'll be back in two minutes and two. Hey, it's Mrs. Ironside. <laughs> Tonight's <laughs> episode, Tea House of the August Murder. Ooh, well, it's so. a good thing Chinatown's wheelchair accessible. You know? Let's open it. Selling candy bars, mister, for my school marching band? Let me see the money. Will this ransom be cash or charge? $20,000, that's almost enough for a month's rent in San Francisco. Where's my sister? Safe. This is supposed to be an exchange. The money for Kelly. Your sister will be returned to you. Oh, we sent a regular mail. It might take word. about a day. Oh, oh, he hit the assistant director. Ouch. Ooh. If I could only get out of this chair. Hey, if we could only get out of this movie. Be glad that you can't. Hmm? Hop in. You don't have to throw that baby seat in the back. My wife's got the Cadillac. Hmm. Oh, wait, looks like trouble with the transmission. You're next. Ninja auto mechanic in color. Da, 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 da. Hey, look, what's your fool doing in your car? <laughs> See that? What a dickweed. I told they fall for the unexpected. Tails. Ow, 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 bad idea. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, mister, your ninja's dragging. <laughs> Flubber! Now, how much would you pay for these patented Ginzu Ninja Grippers? Wait, there's more. What happened to his bad back? Oh, no, no, that was in the last episode. Uh, oh, I mean, mm -hmm. last half of the movie. I don't know, I get the feeling everybody in this movie had a bad childhood. Uh -huh. I don't know, but... Uh, water! Uh, water! Anwar Sadat, in color. Stop that. It's fun. Yeah, they're really inconspicuous. Yep, yeah. can't just can't blend it in. Wait, I had one of those in a goldfish bowl. Maybe that's the way in. 
It's a crazy idea, but it just might walk. I mean, work. Back in the mix. So, like a jerk, he hangs under the truck and gets all. Something's happened to your friend. Not to him. You didn't even see him. That doesn't mean he wasn't there. Hi, I'm Jim Rockford. I'm not in right now, but. Yeah, it's a phone, I'm almost certain. Charlie Patterson. Charlie Patterson, Charlie Patterson. Starring Pat Carroll. 20,000 is promised. You didn't disappoint me after all. When will my daughter be returned? Hey, you said we could have her till Wednesday. I understand from the bank you had to take out a lien on your club. Hmm. Too much of a financial strain in these hard times. Hey, blame it on Ronald Reagan. You'll sign the lien over to me. I will pay it. The club will then be mine, of course. Oh, but you must stay on. Ooh. The customers would be so disappointed. <laughs> if that's what it'll take to this bring my daughter like back. This sounds like extortion. Have it arranged by tomorrow morning. She'll be with you for lunch. I think it would be fun to run a nightclub. I think it would be fun to run a nightclub. <laughs> you stay here at the club and we'll both be back tonight. With Kelly. I'm not doing this alone. Mm -mm. No way. Let her up in her. Hmm. Maybe they gave it to the game. I thought this was a partnership. Too dangerous. Well, that little chase in the streets this morning, you don't suppose that had just a small element of danger in it? What? What am I, your chauffeur? I told you, when you're ready. I'll tell you what I'm not ready for. I'm not ready to see Kelly killed. I'm not ready to see you go off into the sunset against mm -hmm. that pack of wolves. I'm not ready to be shot at, driven mm -hmm. at, or kicked in the face. And I'm not ready to take acting lessons. Wall. But you are ready to get killed. Well, yeah. Are you around? How could you let that happen? I suppose you'd only follow me. Believe it. I believe it. You ready for your ninja robes? Are they as goofy as yours? Still working up to that. But I do have a black outfit. Seems in a turtleneck. How about a weapon? Hold it. No, not by the edge, no. It'll make you feel better. If you put it Just in the right place. I wouldn't think of it. Meanwhile, in downtown Fargo. Let's see. Oh, Beverly Sills. <laughs> you know, I've got the money, the club, and the girl, yet I feel empty. Why? Why? Bring the girl to me. I desire to discuss philosophy with her. Ninja bow and arrow sold separately. I knew he'd find a way to get me on a tightrope. Timothy Van Patten, master of the non sequitur voiceover. Ooh, hey, hey, what's going on up there? Hey, hey someone was working for a living. Shut up! Shut up! Just getting back, that worried me. You hear anything? All right, cool train live in Japan. Smart hostages, foolish choices. Today on Oprah. I hear you're quite a performer. Hmm? Dance for me. Hmm. All right. I really want to direct. You're a dancer. Dance. Well, you're an actor. Act. Did you say dance? You don't mean it. Put your heart into it. <laughs> I want to get physical. Physical. <laughs> uh, 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 never mind. Do you write short stories, maybe? This is wild, I swear. I can't. I can't. We, we, know, know, we know. We know. Hey, who's the Arab woman? Let's leave. Oh, sorry. Good night, Mr. Chen. Wherever you are. Oh, low and away, ball one. Must be using selective gas. Yeah. So. It's all right. Kelly, we're your only chance out of here. There's only one way. My way or the highway. Ow. A high wire between the buildings. <laughs> I couldn't. You'll have to. Hey, you dance for strangers who can walk in a tightrope for me. Max, get the money. Sure thing, Mr. H. Hey, they spent 20 bucks of it for a pizza.
Is that a stunt man? Are you kidding? While they were filming this, Lee was in his trailer sipping a pina colada. No, I can't do this. Yes, you can. I'll help you. No, I can't. I can't do it. Take my hand. No! I'm a stranger in paradise. Come on, take it. I won't let you fall. Come on, take my hand! 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 Witness, ladies and gentlemen. Witness. The witness sketch. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the high wire above. <laughs> That's right. It's the Circus of the Second Rate Stars. Okay. You listen to my voice. Slee! There's nothing below you. There's nothing around you. Water above you. You've got we no talent one. and you can't dance. So I step back, <laughs> you step forward. We come together because opposites That's it. attract. No, no. That's it. No, no. And you won't fall Jinx. unless I do. And I won't fall. Jinx. They're up on the wire. Half is flame, half is fire. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Tension. Almost don't look down. I didn't. I was so relaxed, I nodded off. <laughs> Oh. 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 Almost there. That's Melissa Sue Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a hand. Yeah. Let's give her a warm round of applause. She's done a great job. Hey. Now it was my turn. To do another unnecessary voiceover. And I said the chances of tightrope walking in San Francisco were slim. With the master around, you could do it every night. How are the chances of falling? Yeah, just fall. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Bounce it. During the rope. During Noonan. the rope. Joe. Noonan. Noonan. Come on, Max. You can do it. If not, can I have your van? Don't look down. I have a wire Lost cutter on you. Hey, if he falls, are we going to have to watch his life path mm -hmm. before his eyes? I don't think I can take it. Dad's right. first eight is enough. Callback. Right. Brother Vince's first tennis lesson. Right. Visits Come from on. Aunt Joyce yeah, the day he realized he was untalented enough to star in a primetime action show. Oh, uh, yep. uh, still... Sorry. Really? Rue! Doing his rope. Almost there. Don't lose it. Oh. <laughs> do what they should have done in the first place and walk downstairs and go out the front door. Master. Osaka, hi. I haven't seen you since the first episode. I mean, that first part of the movie. They are of no concern to me. Or us. They can go. But not without these lovely parting gifts. Tell them about it, Johnny. You think I'm going to leave? Get her out of here. Uh, getting her out of here, sir. <laughs> go on. Go on. For crying out loud, you're free. You got 20 grand. Take her out for dinner. Hey, you got enough sticks in your drawers there? <laughs> Can you tell that I'm sticking my tongue out at you? <laughs> nay, 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 nay. Uh oh, I just passed wind in my suit. I ask you as a point of honor, give me a second. A hand slice. Boy, Jackie Chan, he's not. He's not even Charlie Chan. He's not even Charlie Callis. No, he's not even Maria Callis. He's not even Maria Conchita Alonso. He's not even Chiquita Banano with the bungee to the Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. Uh, they both have more inner rage than they're willing to admit. Tumble out of bed and stumble in the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Hey, what are they fighting over? The fryer exhaust at Arby's? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> You know, these Robert Bly weekends are getting more and more intense. You know, last week I made a big mistake. I went to a Carol Bly weekend. Oh, really? How? Oh. I left my liver in San Francisco. So these are Morris dancers gone horribly wrong. That's what I'd say. Niagara Falls. Slowly I turned. Inch by inch. Step by step. Oh, and now commence by keeping. Yeah, well, you fight like a Van Patten. Oh, that's oh, not fair man. in a fight. I just get done fighting Shazam. 
Jeepers. Hey, Samir, don't you have a kid's party to go to or something? My friend, yeah. time for you to die. Well, that's great. Huh? Scarecrow and Mrs. King in color. Stop it. Scarecrow! Scare me. Lee, you know, even for you, that's pretty lame. Saved by the bell. TJ Trufflehoofers, try the Fintoozler. I'm a ninja warrior! <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's back and he's wild as ever. <laughs> That's right. You know, I love a nice foppish dance. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, this is from my 1935 film, The Prancing Ninny. <laughs> Hey, Lee, tuck in the shirt and suck in your gut. Or suck in your gut and tuck in your shirt. You know, Prince stole everything from him. Why? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you know, they used to call me $3 Bill Bojangles Robinson, as a matter of <sighs> Hey, look, Pam Dauber's impressed. <laughs> mm. Oh, let's put a paw on the party. Wow. You think he moves great back then, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to show you the Charlie Patterson of the 80s. Hey, who died and made him Charlie, MC? Charlie, do a little step for us. No, not the goose step, no! Almost gave it away. Good, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Good, okay. great, great. Could you take your seat, Dad? <laughs> Thanks. Beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Charlie, I've got a birthday surprise for you. Well, a box of Depends, right? Thank oh. you, I didn't know it. Next, on a very special Mrs. Ironside. Oh. Time to start walking toward your bald father. Hey, I bought that chair and you're gonna use it. Walking tenderly towards dad and falling in his arms. Okay, Pop. I can stand on my own two feet. Now. Actually, dear, you're on my two feet. Oh, wow. You. Betcha. <gasps> well, I'm gonna get me a new agent. This is a warm and tender made for TV moment. <sighs> and there it goes. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. No. You're the hoofer. I'm new at this game. Yeah, he was also in the Happy Hoofer Goes to Washington. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, did a noser. <laughs> Come on, everybody, up and dance you and know, cover. Punch your balloon. You Come can on, cast your spoilers. No more onion rings for Lee. Oh. Look at that guy. Um, I talked to my friend Terry. Lee can throw his voice? She's not yep. your daughter. Well, I kind of figured a 60 year old man with glasses wasn't my daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you kissed me, Van Patten? I'll kill you. Yeah. Oh, he's dancing with Ziggy Stardust. Michael Sloan, shame, shame on you. you. Indeed. That's for sure. Ah. Well, well, at least we can enjoy another Film Ventures International credit sequence, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's what Film Ventures International is famous for, like the Pink Panther and the James Bond credit sequence. Yeah, you know, that was kind of a weird movie. First Demi Moore and Claude Akins were there, then halfway yeah. through they disappeared. Joel, when mysterious. are you going to stop living a lie? That. This was not a movie. It was a bunch of episodes strung together. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Didn't you guys are cynical. That. Oh, yeah, you are you cynical. Yeah. Oh, we should get out of here, really. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Was well, fun though, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> At first. And we're gonna miss that part. You know, Joel, going into this experiment, several things were a given. One, it had a Van Patten in a prominent role. Two, it was made for TV. 
three, it had a Van Patten in a prominent role. But I had no idea it would be this bad! Yeah, really. I mean, if you look at some of the other 13-episode action shows from that era, like yeah. Manimal, uh, yeah. Misfits of Science, Super Train... Oh, I like that one! It was pretty good. Uh, Tales of the Gold Monkey. They oh, were sorry. all insipid, yet clearly superior to this piece of junk! Well, guys, <gasps> take it easy. The best way to beat those made-for-TV blues is to start your own funk fusion TV action band, okay? So, Crow, I want you to start out on the drums. Come on. Oh, oh okay. Hey, hey, get me. I'm a L.A. studio musician. <laughs> Come on. Let me throw in a little wall. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Master Ninja theme song. Okay, now. Put that up on Still Star, will ya? Master Ninja theme song. Okay. We, the officers of the Battleship Missouri, wish to congratulate you on the quality programming you are injecting in the... Master Ninja theme song, fiber optic veins of our nation. While in the Persian Gulf during Operation Desert Storm, we often felt as you must. Master Ninja theme song, trapped in a steel box with little or no contact with the outside world, yet engaged in important and dangerous work. Master Ninja theme song, oh, as comrades we salute you, we spend many off our duty hours enjoying your show to help repay you for the pleasure given us. Master Ninja theme song, we would like to do something for you. Some of us are engineering by profession and would like to offer our assistance and design Designing, manufacturing, service arms. Master Ninja theme song, your torso. Let us know if you want any special features such as death lasers or detachable radio control fingers. We eagerly await your plot. Master Ninja theme song. What do you think, sir? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Very nice, Joel. Uh, downright funky. <laughs> Isn't that right, Doctor? I had jello today. <laughs> the button. To them, it's some kind of ritual.